stuff is charged, yeah. That just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man. Kurt Scooby. Kurt Scooby. Um, loses by a technical knockout. Um, just want to give my thoughts. Uh, very disappointed. Um, very unfortunate. A strange turn of events. Uh, a lot of other shit. Um, before I get what I to say, what I what I think, or some other shit, I just want to say what you done wrong. For one, I don't trust your corner. That that's the first thing. Um, uh, don't trust them. When he started telling you just use your legs and move, and just move and just move, no, nope. Uh, and another thing, I don't think it, your coach ever watched film study on this uh, on this boy that you just fought. I'm gonna tell you something. That's a country boy you just fought. That's a country white boy. That's a uh, heels have eyes wrong. <laughs> Let me quit. But he's strong. Uh, listen, I didn't know who this motherfucker is, and it's hard to even 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 uh, prospects or journeymen. It's hard to miss me on fighters. Maybe I have seen him fight. I just don't remember. But um. He done, he done, he done, he done beat some undefeated fighters. He's been one of them dudes that upset. Yeah, you know, before I get to what, because I just can't leave out the uh, bullshit. Can, can we, can we, can we get the same treatment that non-black fighters, when your non-black fighters are knockout orders, y'all always feed them a fighter that's going to, uh, get out the way and run from them, uh, whatever y'all call running, and try to survive. And it's all for the non-black fighter to get a spectacular knockout. The dude don't got good footwork, but he's trying to get out the way, and you hunt him down. Why couldn't you give Kurt Scooby a fighter he could hunt down? No, no, no. Why can't our aggressive black fighters get the same treatment that all other fighters get? Feed us some shit we can chase now. Now, every now and then, I like... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just think too black. I, I just don't know. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. But I, I don't regret it. I don't regret the way I think. I don't regret the way I feel. The way I think, that's the way I see it. It's just the way I see it. Look, what you done wrong, Pimpin'? Um, your corner didn't watch no film. The first round was how you were supposed to fight that entire fight. The first round was... That was the only round you threw your jab. The second round, half of the round you, you threw your jab, you abandoned your jab in the second round. By the third round, you was on your back foot. The first round, that was how you were supposed to. You had him on the back foot in that first round, and you was backing him up with the jab. You even doubled up on it a little bit. It wasn't the best jab, but it was effective. He was running right into it. The jab was, was, was throwing him off balance. Listen, bro. You abandon your jab and start trying to move and outbox him. That's not going to work. Because when he start hunting you down and, and uh, he, he hit you with some shit in the third round, bro, um, that was the wrong fight to fight. You're not a technically sound boxer that moves and box. That ain't even your DNA. You should have just either banged it out or... You know, got back on your jab, bro, and walking him back with the jab. I'm going to tell you something, bro. You really look like Samson without the hair tonight. Samson without the goddamn hair. Uh, it's like, I'm going to tell you something. It, it's like, it reminds me of Anthony Yard when he fought Better Beef. Anthony Yard was way bigger than Better Beef, way stronger. He act like he didn't know that the way he was on his back foot. You act like you didn't know your own goddamn strength. Bro, he should have never put you on the back foot. You raised. He even said out. The white boy said after the fight, he is extremely strong, and he hits very, very hard. Oh my God, bro, you was way stronger than him. Put him on his back foot. 
he only land that wild shit when he's on the front foot and he got you backing up with your left hand down. You never brought that left hand up. You kept your left hand down the entire fight. Um, you should have never let him back you up because he wasn't stronger than you. Um, but I will say this, though. Your inside game was more than suspect tonight. He was beating you up on the inside. He was landing that same sloppy ass uppercut over and over. And he was taking a little half step back and catching you with a hard right hand. This motherfucker was game. I'm going to say another thing. Um, Yeah, they, they, they. (laughs) I'm I'm just telling you, there's no way y'all studied this dude. There is no way. Uh, Kurt, you were smiling too goddamn hard before the fight. I, I just, I don't think y'all ever watched him fight. I don't think y'all even knew his full name. I don't think y'all looked up anything. I thought y'all, I think y'all just thought this was gonna be another Scobie night, another Scobie knockout. Nah, bro. I'm telling you, boy, they be matching black fighters up like a motherfucker. I swear to God. I swear to God. The boy got, uh, what, 13 fights? And this dude, he just fought, got over 20 some fights. Um, I will say this, though. You shouldn't have lost to him, bro. If, if you who I say you was, no, this dude would tough you, but you shouldn't have lost to him. Nah, 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 I ain't gonna go all the way corruption. Oh, they put a bad style in that. You weren't supposed to lose that if you good as I say you is. Or good as I thought you was. So evidently, you not as good as I thought you was. And not only are you not as good as I thought you was, you was gassed out in the second round. That's why you let go of the jab. And you got, it's like that left arm was too heavy. Uh, You just couldn't lift it up to uh, uh, protect yourself. Because you got hit with that right hand repeatedly. Um... Back to corruption. Let me tell you something. That white beard ass uh, baboon, that motherfucker, silver ranger tank, long arm swinging from a tree. Let me tell you something. I I, I don't trust black referees just as much as I, I listen, bro. The the highlight of the goddamn night. This was in the first or the second round when cut when Kurt Scobie was on his shit in the first round. Great first round. That was how he was supposed to fight that fight. And he was going to eventually get him out there. Because another thing, Kurt Scobie, you is not good at punch. Your power ain't good off the back foot. And, and you was landing some hard shit, but you was on your back foot the entire fight. Now, nah, Pimpin, um, Kurt Scobie landed a power jab that hurt uh, uh, the, the, the boy, the country white boy. Uh, hurt him badly. He was off balance and everything. Had Kurt Scobie, uh, had the ref not stepped in, Kurt Scobie would have finished him. He was hurt. And the ref gave him plenty of time. Wasn't nothing even, wasn't nothing wet in the corner. And even the announcer said, uh, even the commentator said, and I was shocked they admitted it. They said it was nothing wet in that corner. He did not slip. He caught him with a power jab and he was hurt. And uh, I think Scobie would have finished him had that ref not jumped in. Another thing I do, I do agree with, um, Scobie was more, he got hurt a lot in that fight, though. Don't get it twisted. But in that round where they stopped that fight, Scobie wasn't so much as hurt as he was tired. And when that ref stopped, I could see how that ref just couldn't wait to stop it. But when he did stop it, that last little flurry, those were pity pass shots. None of them shots was hurting him. And it it was just a bad stoppage. It was just a bad stop. I'm telling you, bro, I just believe it. I just believe the conspiracy. I'm telling you, when a black fighter get hurt by a non-black fighter, that ref is looking to stop it. He's looking to stop that shit. He's looking to stop it, bro. I'm telling you, when Devin hurt Loma to the body in that fight, um, that ref gave uh, Loma all kind of time when Loma threw Devin to, to the ground. The ref gave him damn near three minutes to recover. But anyway, um... Yeah, man. They had your headline, and I was so proud. I didn't know who this dude you was for. I thought he was just some bum. Because that's who you, they was they was supposed to give you a... And, and I ain't saying the dude is some hell of a fighter, but he ain't... No, he ain't what you needed tonight. I'm just sad. But you still should have beat him. But no, you needed a fighter that uh was going to be on his back foot and let you come forward and look like the roaring lion. And all that other shit like they do other non-black fighters. I they they were supposed to give you some food tonight for you to shine. I'm telling you, this is some new shit. It's some new shit. 
I'll tell you, I, I predict in the next 10 to 15 to 20 years, bro, pure boxing going to be gone. And only non-black fighters will be able to do it and get away with it. Black fighters will, I, I'll tell you, all the motherfuckers just going to be slugging. And uh, just letting uh, uh, limited fighters hit them with all kind of shit that they shouldn't even be getting hit with. But uh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that's why I say this whole Ryan and Devin fight, the whole, I'm telling you, bro, that entire crowd, I'm telling you, bro, it, they are all depending and hoping and wishing on a star, I wonder where you are, and I wish on all the moments that we spent, they just wishing, they just hope that Ryan can just at least hurt them. They want him to knock him out. But if he can just hurt Devin, I'm telling you, bro, that's going to be all the headlines. That's all it's going to be about. That's all they're hoping on. And not only that, if Ryan hurt Devin in his fight, bro, that ref is going to be looking to stop it. I noticed that shit. He is going to be looking to stop that shit. Um, so, Scobie, you have a terrible corner. Um, You didn't... You didn't you didn't do what you needed to do. Uh, yeah, was it a bad style matchup? It, I could say that, bro, but you also, you you, you got off your game plan. Um, I don't know. You need a strength and conditioning coach and some more shit. Maybe you need to move up to 147. Maybe it's too much of a weight cut. Uh, you got a lot of goddamn muscles. I just don't know, bro. You gassed the fuck out in the third round. Oh, the boy took some good shots, though. He hit you. You hit him with some big shit. He just wouldn't go nowhere. Um, you did try to go to his body. You threw some great shots to the body. Uh, I thought that would slow him down. That body work did not slow him. But not only that, bro, that was a kind of fighter that um, you you were supposed to be in dog shape because you, you were supposed to throw more punches, too. You were supposed to throw more punches. It's a lot of criticism I have for you. Got a lot of work to do, pimping. Uh, but yeah, they 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 put a they put a they put a motherfucker they 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 threw a little <laughs> yeah 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 they pulled a goddamn rabbit out the hat tonight with this white boy. This was a strong white boy. <laughs> yeah 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 that white boy there. I'm telling you that that's a that's a that's one of them white boys grew up in the cornfields or some shit. Anyway, um, but yeah, that was a, that was a terrible stoppage though. I'm telling you, um, I noticed that. I noticed that. Uh, you know, let me go and speak on this. Cause I seen some comments. Nine hundred three is a uh, Terrence Crawford fight. Matter I'm gonna tell y'all what I did today. Um, uh, I seen some shit that made me. Uh, listen, bro. I've been hearing. I've been hearing uh, different folks and fans say, uh, "Man, this Matter dude, Terrence Crawford fighting. Man, that dude can fight." Man, this is dangerous. This is a 50 50 fight. That dude might beat Terrence Crawford. Um, it's, it's, it, Terrence Crawford better be careful in this uh, boxing world, bro. Uh, everybody know you trying to get the bag, bro, and go on about your business. Uh, it, it's a lot of shit, bro. Uh, Terrence Crawford, every move you make is critical right now. I'm telling you right now, uh, I don't know how much they paying you, bro, but I don't like it. I just want to go on the counter saying I don't like it. I've been saying nothing but good shit about Terrence Bud Crawford, but I don't agree with you fighting a goddamn Israel Matramov. Uh, I finally done it today. I said, you know what? Because I've been having it on my mind for a couple of days. I'm going to check him out. They talking about he's so good and all this and that. And he's so athletic. He do backflips. And he's so athletic. And he can really punch. And he's really good. And they comparing him to Loma. They comparing him to Triple G. They say he's a Lomachenko Triple G. Uh, and he's a Muslim. And Turkey is a Muslim. And uh, this Matamov dude been fighting in uh, Saudi Arabia. He been fighting out there. So he's like a hometown. He gonna be the hometown favorite. Uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. Not only that, bro. When I looked at his highlights, I said, "Oh, some cool shit." Yeah, 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 yeah. That was some cool shit. It's some cool shit. Oh boy, that's some cool shit. Um, yeah, shit look cool. It was some cool shit. Tell you, motherfucker, something. 
when I looked at the opponents he was doing it, not only that, 90% of the opponents he's faced is D, not C, D level black fighters. So they just been feeding him bus driver ass black fighters. Um, yeah, 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 valet parking ass black fighters. And all kind of other shit like that, janitor ass black fighters to just fuck over. And I say, yeah, he looks spectacular doing it, but who the fuck is this dude for? Terrence Crawford, I just want to say, let me tell you something, bro. Um, let me tell you something. What's that motherfucker? Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The dude fought Mikey Garcia. What's the foreign white boy that uh, Jerron Boots in it? This dude was solid. Uh, and I want to say he was a 140-pound champion. He fought Mikey Garcia. Uh, what's what's the what's the white boy uh, that Jerron knocked out in impressive fashion? I want to say the boy had never been stopped. I, what's his goddamn name? Uh, listen, man. I, let me just name somebody else. I can't think of the dude name. Dude, dude was dude. You know what I'm saying? He was a credible opponent. That uh, what's I can't think of his name. Anyway, let me just say Roman Villa is um is like a top five pound for pound fighter compared to the fighters that are. That was a terrible example. I'm just saying, Roman Villa, though, is way better than these dudes that Israel Madrimov has fought. These dudes that Israel Madrimov have fought, I'm telling you right now, bro, Sean Porter could come out of retirement, and Sean Porter don't even get knockouts. He could stop every last one of them dudes that Madrimov has. Madrimov got nine fights and ain't fought nobody. This is gonna look so bad, bro. 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 Eddie Hearn, I'm I'm just telling you, bro. Even though Eddie Hearn, it looked good what he doing for boots. Ain't nobody doing right by him. Ain't ain't no white boy gonna do right by a spectacular black fighter. No white boy. It ain't no white. Eddie Hearn just doing better than the PBC did. That's black folks' problem. We think when one white boy is nicer than the other white boy, he got. Oh, yeah, it's got to be the savior. <laughs> no, bro. Eddie Hearn is not the savior of boxing. I, I, black black fans damn near sound like Eddie Hearn is the savior or the messiah. <laughs> but nah, bro. He just he just doing business a little bit better than Al and Bob right now. That's all. He just putting on fights a little bit better than them right now, bro. But he ain't shit either. Because if Eddie Hearn was really, really solid, <clears throat> if he just really, truly wanted to do right by boots, because he keeps saying, well, Bug want a certain amount of money, and Boots don't have the popularity. Let me, nobody in boxing know Israel Madrimov. Nobody knew him until they said Terrence Crawford might fight the, fight the boy. Nobody know this dude. Nobody know this dude. Uh, Boots got way more credibility, has fought way tougher competition than a Madrimov. Let me tell you something. If you was really solid, just like Turkey Alex, because I know he must be paying Bud good, bro. And her alpha, alpha, alpha Bud by 15 mil, 15, 20 mil to fight Boots. I bet you Bud a sign. Because I, I watched you throw away 40 and 50 mil, bro. All, all these loans, you ought to be damn near out of loans by now. People really think Eddie Hearn got more money than what he got. The boy really in debt. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm just, motherfuckers, I always want to say the PBC, bro, and, and old barbershop now. Them motherfuckers be dedicated to try to prove that Al is broke. Now, nah, pimping, uh, Al really got that bread. Al really got that bread. That motherfucker smart. That motherfucker still eating out Floyd money from Floyd fights and shit. Nah, bro, Eddie really in debt with all these uh, loans he be getting. And all that slave money his father had from back in the game. <laughs> nah, Pippen, uh, give, I, I think it's, it, let me tell you something, bro. Eddie Hearn could make the Terrence Crawford boost fight right now, but that ain't what he gonna do. Nah, he wanna pimp, that's how the pimp, man, come on, bro. He finna bleed him, he finna make some money off him first. Before he off up a bat. It ain't it ain't that boost ain't popular enough. No, hell no. I got a contract. I gotta get these fights in. I got so that way he get the full credit for everything instead of putting boots already in a position like they doing Madrimov. A boy with nine fights. If Eddie Hearn chose to pay Boots right now, bro, uh, I mean Bud right now, Bud would sign a fight with Matro uh, a one fight deal with Matroom and fight Boots. Everybody know it. So it ain't the fight, it ain't the fact that Boots ain't known enough or Bud Duck and Boots. No. 
Bud ain't ducking boots, and it ain't that boots ain't known enough, and he ain't popular enough. Nah, bro, just off up that bag. I watch y'all do it for way less opponents, bro. So let's stop it, bro. Jaime Monguia has never even won a world title. And he finna get by 15, 20 mil fighting uh, Canelo. And fans are really saying he's deserving of it because he beat a fucking John Ryder. I, I just don't know, bro. Um, it's amazing, bro. I'm telling you, Terrence. I don't like you fucking. I'm telling you. Look, look, at, look at the position Wilder is in. They brought him over there on the fucking co-main to a Joshua. Fighting a Joseph Parker. Well, true enough, Wilder was supposed to win, but he was a co-main. Now he's a coal man again up under Better Beef and Bill, and he's fighting a hard puncher that's a southpaw and a bad style for him. A bad style. I hope he win. But I'm, that's Turkey ain't no different from the white. I'm telling you, bro, they own black people too back in the game. That's why, that's how, that, that's who gave us Allah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Arabs gave us Allah and the white boy gave us Jesus. That's all I'm saying. So uh, I'm just tired of being giving shit. Y'all just want to learn some shit on my own. So, fuck what a, a motherfucking oppressor want to teach me. Now, now, I don't think it's nothing good that a motherfucking oppressor can teach a black man. So, Terrence, just quit fucking with all these fun. Quit thinking it's going to be better on the other side. Quit thinking it's going to be better in another country. Quit thinking you're going to get treated better by other people, bro. They all tied in. America do business with the Arabs. That's why they don't really fuck with them like that, bro. They do business with China. They do business with Japan. That's why Inouye is doing the shit he's doing over there and he's selling out shows over there. And even though he don't sell over here, nobody talks about it. So now, nah, bro, you will never get the treatment that Inouye get. Now, if Turkey bring Inouye over there, it ain't going to be to fight no 9 and no fighter that, that's really they fighter and a fellow Muslim. No, they're going to feed them to some bum black fighter or some somebody to make them look spectacular against. You fight one of his Muslim brothers, uh, bud. And this boy got nine fights and nobody know him, but he'll be able to say he fought out pound for pound best in terms, but it just, it just, it just, it just ain't enough. It just ain't enough bananas in the world. I don't know, bud, but you know what? If you do fight on, I don't like it, but ain't nobody else fucking with you. At this point, Bud is like a, he like that boy on 12 Years a Slave. Uh, <laughs> you know, he just from plantation to plantation. Uh, don't nobody want to accept Bud. PBC don't want him. Top Rank don't want him. They talking about they lost for robbers with uh, Bob Lion ass. Uh, PBC, PBC, and I'm telling you, bro, all the smoke is at PBC. PBC just don't want Bud at all. And it ain't his fault. It ain't his fault. And we keep acting like, oh, it's because he beat Earl and that's they, that's they fighter. Okay, cool boys, they fighter. And Inouye beat his ass. They would love to do business with Inouye. PBC would open their arms and, and, and all of me loves all of you. Yeah, they give all of them and he give all of me. It'd be some all in shit. It'd be some fair shit then. So, now nah, promoters, Eddie don't fuck with Bud, uh, Al don't fuck with Bud, and Bob Brown don't fuck with Bud, and none of that is Bud's fault. People keep saying, well, if he just do more interview, bro, when do Inouye do a fucking interview? Just stop it, bro, just stop it. So, that's why I fight for Bud Crawford, because he is the most hated fighter in boxing, outside of Devin Haney. I just don't know, bro. Motherfuckers just hate on the way promoters can stick together to say fuck a black fighter. They love to do it, bro. Eddie Hearn, you motherfuckers riding this. Let me quit. You motherfuckers just giving Eddie too much credit, bro. I like the promotion he's done with Devin. He's done a good job, even though he didn't do shit with Andre. Nah, 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 nah. I like what he doing, even though, like I said, he got Jacobs the Canelo fight, but he didn't get Andre the Canelo fight. And Andre was a way better style uh, than a fucking Jacobs. Anyway, but what I'm saying is, bro, you're doing pretty good with Andy Cruz. You're doing pretty good with uh, Hitchens and little shit like that. And you're doing pretty good with Boost, bro. But, um... Uh, Nah, real shit ain't real, and it's a bunch of fake motherfuckers, and fake motherfuckers just don't know real shit. So I just come here to give you the real shit. I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker say. This sauce is authentic. I, I just, I just, <laughs> this sauce is authentic. This sauce will forever remain. I'm just telling you, bro. Black fighters know you're worth. Just understand, bro. Just, just stop thinking it's gonna be better on the other side. I'm telling you, Turkey slick. 
Turkey dropping the bag and he doing a little slick shot, but he giving his Muslim brother a shot at our best fighter in the world. And the motherfucker ain't even got 10 fights. I'm just telling you, bro, it just look bad. It look bad, bro. It look bad. Um, well, like I say, nobody else ain't fucking with you. Uh, I don't know. It, it looks so bad, bro. I don't know. You, I don't know. Because after you whoop on this Majamov dude, I bet you won't do a backflip after this shit. But he a little awkward and a little shit like that. But a pound for pound fighter in terms of Crawford will baptize him in under six, bro. Yeah, the boy looks spectacular against D-level fighter. The boy look spectacular and all them little angles he be doing and shit. And that little shit he do. And I seen him switch southpaw. I see you, bro. But I'm just telling you, you going to get baptized fucking with uh, this sauce, bro. So, but, um. It is what it is. I just see how everybody do black American fighters. It's like, I'm telling you, it's like either they don't know, don't show, or just don't give a damn what's going on in South Central LA. It's like they all, it, they be in cahoots with that shit, bro. Uh, Turkey Alashi, I know black fans really think he's the savior of boxing or Eddie Hearn. Neither one of them will push a black American fighter to be the face of their promotion. Turkey will never do it, bro. He'll do it for Joshua, though. He will never do it. Uh, for a black American fighter Not even Tank Davis He ain't gonna do it I'm telling you bro And would he make the Tank versus Devin fight Like he said Probably so Probably so But them people have more appreciation For Arthur better be versus a Bibble Than a Tank versus Devin I'm telling you bro That's a black thing That's why I keep telling dumbass uh, Black Tank fans and Devin fans bro This for us to make happen because we, we act like we don't know how big our voice is, bro. We just not demanding it. We just talking shit on why the fight shouldn't happen. That's the problem. But, um, nah, bro, the entire boxing world got way more respect for Better Be versus Bivol uh, than Tank versus Devin or Sh Devin versus Shakur. Most fans say Devin versus Shakur is going to be a boring fight. Oh, they real good fighters, but it's just going to be boring and they both going to be boxing and... I am so fucking sick of of stanking ass racist ass media and stanking dusty ass turkey neck ass fans try to act like boxing is just bad. Like you can't box, you gotta you gotta go for the knockout and and boxing ain't motherfuckers is hit and don't get hit. You stupid motherfuckers. I'm telling you, bro, every every fighter ain't a fucking puncher. Every fighter ain't a knockout artist. Every fighter ain't a brawler, bro. And from the history of boxing, the best fighters have always been slick black fighters, bro, that hit and don't fucking get hit. I'm telling you, bro, black fighters, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, I should be the spokesman of you. You motherfuckers need to listen to 903 if you just want to hear some real sauce and just, just put a little something in your ear, bro. Stop trying to please fans all the time, because even when you slug it out, bro, you still ain't going to get respect. You still ain't going to get respect. So, um, I told you after the third fight when Wilder got knocked out by Fatback Fury, they finally said he had heart. And they said he was tough. But they still didn't like him. He still was never accepted. So, you know, see now it sound like I'm fighting for Wilder again. I'll tell you, inside the ring and outside that person, outside them weird ass questions, uh, yeah, the boxing world fucked over Wilder, in my opinion. But um I'm telling you, bro, Devin outside of Terrence Crawford is the most hated fighter in box. And I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are praying that uh, if he, if Ryan can just land something, if it just look like Devin Hurt, that's going to be the story of the fight. I'm telling you, bro, that is all they hoping on. They don't want Ryan to do nothing else. He can get his ass beat the entire fight if all they give a fuck. I'm telling you, the crowd ain't going to even be cheering while Devin beating his ass. But if Ryan land one good shot that just stagger or, or it just look like... Uh, it was a good shot uh, The crowd gonna go crazy bro And the commentators gonna go crazy That is all these motherfuckers hoping on So I'm telling you it don't matter Even if Devin go in there and put on a shutout and dog him And beat him up on the inside And I'm talking about bully Ryan Even if he do that bro it won't be enough It won't be enough bro It won't be enough It won't be enough if you beat Isaac Cruz It won't be enough if you beat Matias and it won't be enough if you beat T.O. It won't be enough. Out of all them opponents, though, 
the best opponent for you though is Matias. And the reason why I say that, because they call him the boogeyman. And uh, a lot of people think you can't take that kind of pressure. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the fight. Because you beat T.O., bro, everybody already know that your style is bad for T.O. And if you beat Cruz, they'll say, well, Cruz tough, but Tank beat him too. Matias is the fighter that uh, you won't get full credit, but it'll be a thing where they say, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm, and I'm just telling you, I can see, I can see, I can see clearly now the rain. I can see clearly, I can see Devin hurting Matias coming in. I just could see a knockdown or two. I could see it. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna say it's Floyd and Diego Corrales. I ain't gonna go that far, but I could see a few. I could see a knockdown or two just coming in and thinking Devin so pillowfist. I could just see that, but I could also see. um Devin having a little trouble in that fight, man, when uh Matias smother you. But I still got Devin. But that that's the one fight that um uh, and another thing. Gary Antoine Russell. Listen, bro, you and your brother uh Gary Russell Jr. y'all fucks with you and y'all always say black shit. Um uh, I don't know if PBC got you over there on that bullshit. Cause they do that. Just like they got Jamil on that bullshit. This motherfucker that came up under the ground from under the ground like worms and shit. Uh, and now he trying to petition some shit. <laughs> bro, get the fuck. We don't even know if you're going to fight again, bro. Listen, bro. Uh, listen, bro. You have too much of a disdain for death. I don't hear the boy ain't never done nothing to you. You have nothing good to say about it. And you just know boxing too well because Gary Russell Jr. boxing move. He's a pure boxer. No, nah, bro. Uh, you kept saying how Devin just run and he just don't his style fans don't like it and they just heard they all heard there to see him lose though but you were just like uh, don't nobody want to see that I don't want to see that uh, his style is just uh, boring and he just did and and uh he don't he can't punch and this and that and 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 he never like and then you were like well Ryan got a fan friendly thing he what the fans want because he got power and this and that and this and that and I got Ryan stopping him, and I got Ryan beating him, and Ryan gonna beat him, and I don't know, bro. Um, I, I I don't know what the fuck you watching, bro. To me, if you ask me, I think Devin is a more exciting fighter than Ryan. Ryan is not an exciting fighter. Ryan is an explosive fighter at moments. He's not exciting. Ryan is not exciting to me. There is no fight he's been in that I say, ooh, it was exciting. Now, the first three rounds of the Tank fight was exciting. But once Tank, after Ryan got hit and dropped, the fight was really boring. It wasn't exciting. Ryan is not an exciting-ass fighter. He's exciting when he lands some shit. But anyway, uh, I just think Devin got way more tools, and, and Devin is a busy fighter. He beat up on you. I, I just, I don't know, bro. I think PBC sent you on a mission, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. And I'm just going to be honest. I love you, Gary Antoine Russell. You're one of my favorite fighters. But, bro, you was hurt by Rancis Bartelli, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Devin punching way hard. No, pimping. I'm telling you right now. If you think you are what Just like I say, Matias ain't going to... Even though I think your style is a little more... Could possibly be more dangerous than Matias' style. Because you can box, too. Uh, you, you got technical skills and little shit like that. And your feet are faster and you a little more athletic and a little more explosive. And I think you hit a little harder than Matias. But still, bro, you was hurt by Rancis boy telling me. I see Devin doing the same. Bro, Devin will clip your ass on the way in. Okay, bro. Uh, it, it's a lot of shit, bro. Uh, I, I just don't know, bro. You PBs, you motherfuckers game banging on promotion, bro. That's these white folks shit. That ain't even our shit. It's a white boy over him. It, all this shit is some white folk shit, bro. It's they shit. Stop claiming shit that ain't. We only got a two percent ownership in. Stupid motherfucker. But um, yeah, this magic mouth motherfucker ain't even got ten fights, and he finna get a shot at our pal for bad. <laughs> bro, that's boxing for you. I'm telling you, this shit just gonna get worse as long as we keep arguing over over fucking bananas and nuts. I'm telling you, bro. Like, 
you know, a lot of you motherfuckers just go too far, bro. Like, knock out, bro. Let that shit go, bro. I be wanting to tell him, bro. Let that shit go with that tight shit, bro. Let's just get these fights, bro. We just keep trying to... We go too far, bro. We go too far without these the basic shit, bro. Let's push this fight. That's one thing I've been seeing none of you motherfuckers do. Well, I've seen some. But a lot of you motherfuckers ain't pushing the fight, bro. You pushing the drama. Let's just push for these fights, bro. Push for these fights and these fighters gonna act different. I'm telling you, bro. Tank act bougie because you motherfuckers allow them to do this shit. I'm telling you, bro, Tank had never said nothing about the weight until you motherfuckers said something about it. And now Tank talking about it. motherfuckers coming in 20, 25 pounds, disrespecting the sport. You motherfuckers give them the leeway to say this shit, bro. So it's, just, it's just crazy, though. Like I said, if Tank fight T.O., they won't say he too big. I guarantee you that. So stop it, bro. Just stop. Just stop. Um... It is what it is, bro. I'm telling you, but these motherfuckers trying to... Uh, I'm telling you, they trying to label boxing boring. And I'm telling you, bro, when you when your feet are too good and you don't get hit... I'm telling you, it's like... It's going to become a thing where you... Bro, if your defense too good, bro, I don't want to see none of that. So... Defense is a skill, so it's just amazing, bro. They trying to take out. I'm telling you, they want us to just stand right there and, and let you hit us, and we hit you back. It, it, it is what it man. I'm through with it. it, it, it man, this, this is not on three boxing. I'm your whole charge. Right? With that, I'm out.